Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 39. So today we are going to work on our campaigns applet, and I'm specifically going to show you how to create an email campaign today. So we've already done social post campaigns, direct mail campaigns, and now email campaigns. Let's go ahead and dive in. Campaigns, our megaphone icon, seventh one down. We're gonna go ahead and click there. And once again, we're gonna create a campaign and we're going to go to direct mail. I'm sorry, excuse me, create campaign. And we're gonna to go to email. And similar to the social post, it does, or direct mail campaign, excuse me, it does ask us for a purpose and a title. So let's just say we're doing the same thing. So this is gonna be a just listed email campaign and it's one, two, three, Main Street. Katie, Texas, and let's do 050125, just so that I know what the campaign was about, when it was sent out, and which property we were advertising. Again, we're gonna advertise the listing, and we're gonna go ahead and use command email. Command email is the email service provider that's automatically provided to us as agents with Keller Williams. We do receive 5,000 free emails per month, and that includes smart plans and email campaigns. So just as a heads up. But we're gonna click on create campaign. And when we do, we get taken into sort of the campaign creator setup. Uh, at the very top, you can see we can save this campaign as a draft. We can actually schedule this campaign to go out in the future, or we can send it immediately. If for any reason you wanted to change your campaign goal, and remember, not a lot of impact on the actual campaign itself, but more for tracking purposes, you can certainly do that by clicking on this drop down. Next up, you've got your campaign name, which we just put in. If for any reason you wanted to edit that, you certainly could. Um, the account that it's coming from, this is actually set based upon the settings inside of your command account, and you can't change that. Um, so it's automatically going to come from whatever email is tied to your command account. The reason being is that's how command tracks how many emails you've used, number one. Number two, it's also how it tracks things like deliverability, open rate, click-through rate, unsubscribes, bounce backs, marked as spam. Those are all metrics that can be tracked with email campaigns, but only if we're using your actual email address with KW. So uh, you can see this pro coach account is set up for our MCA KLRW email. Uh, next up, we're gonna decide who is going to receive this email campaign. So we need to make our recipient list. If you have previous lists created, you can click on this dropdown and you would see those. If you don't, you're going to want to create a list. So we're gonna click on create list and this will bring up all of our contacts. In this case, it's all the fake contacts that we've put in. We can go through and click one by one. We could choose to select all However, it does have a limitation, and I believe that limitation is 25 per page. Uh, we only have 11 contacts in our fake database, so it's gonna select all 11. Uh, but if you do have more than 25, you may have to go page by page by page to select them all. Uh, you could also filter your contacts. Let's say we just want the contacts with the cartoon tag, and you'll see that's gonna take us down to these five, and we can select all. Or if there's a specific person that we want, uh, we want Mickey Mouse to get this, or Minnie Mouse. I don't think we actually ever put Minnie, Mickey in. Uh, we can search. All right, Minnie's not available. Let's see, let's get that out. All right, so there we go. Um, and let's see if there are any other tags that we wanna put in. Uh, let's put in fictional character, see who comes up there and we've got all five of those. All right, so those guys are all selected. And then basically, once you have all of your contacts that you want selected for your email list, you can title that. So in this case, this was fake people cartoons. And I always recommend putting a date when you created the list, because as you continue to add people to your database, the email lists aren't automatically updated. So you are gonna have to come back and make edits. Uh, so if I confirm this list, now that list is available inside of my dropdown. If for any reason I wanna add more contacts to that list in the future, I can select the recipient list and then choose edit. That's gonna show the contacts that I have selected, but then I could go back in and find some additional specific contacts that I wanted to add and we could bring those in if we needed to. So 
Um, let's click on friends. I don't think there was anything. Yep, there we go. We wanted to add Monica. We can confirm. And now we have six recipients. Um, <clears throat> and there we go. All right, so next up, we've got the send from and reply to email addresses. If we click on edit, it's gonna take us into our settings menu uh, for our command mail settings. So we're gonna wanna come down to command mail and you can see here's our command email. We can manage that and we can change the sender name and the reply to email. So pro coach CM82 doesn't sound that great. So I might change this just to my name. Sometimes maybe your Keller Williams name is your legal name, but you go by something different. Maybe you want the center name to be more specific, right? Your Katie Realtor, and I can save the changes. So once we're done with that, we're gonna close that out. We're gonna come back and we should be able to, I think if we do a refresh, uh, that may lose it. Um, well, we'll leave it at that and then see, let's do an edit and see if it goes back. We'll go down back down to command mail, just make sure it took. Manage, yep, Marty Miller, Katie Realtor, we're good there. So we can come back. Then we're gonna enter our subject line. So this is check out the hottest new listing in Katy, Texas. Right, something along those lines. Next up, if you'll remember inside of designs, we created an email design. We can go in and select that specific design and it actually pulls up the design just to double check if there's any final edits that need to be made. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this text box because it has some designations that we haven't set up inside of our marketing profile. That way I believe we'll be able to use it so I can click on save and close. Here's the preview of what the email looks like. And now from here, I should be good to go. I only have one decision left to make. Do I wanna send this immediately or do I want to schedule this at a future date? I'm gonna go ahead and click on send. I know all those email addresses are fake email addresses, but it gives me one more pop-up. Hey, you're about to send an email campaign to this list. There are six recipients and here's the preview of the list. You can cancel and go back if you need to change anything last minute or you can click on send now. Once you do send now, it does take us back into our email campaign home screen. And from here, you can see, right, we've got our message about the uh, security updates, content moderation and deliverability. We've seen that before. It does tell us, hey, right now it hasn't gone out. So we still have 5,000 email sends, but you can see we're about to hopefully send out six new uh, emails. So that would take us down to, what would that be, 4,994. You can go through and see everything previously mailed, right? Anything that's scheduled, anything that got archived or saved as a draft, or then all of your emails. If you had a specific email you were looking to find, you could search for it. You could also go in and say, hey, I wanna see all of the email campaigns I did on a specific goal type. I can also say, hey, I wanna see everything I've sent from command email. If for any reason you have a MailChimp account and you're connecting that, you could see everything you sent from MailChimp. And then finally, you can see all of the email lists that you've created and edit or delete any of those lists prior to sending out those emails as well. So that's it for today, guys. A run through of your email campaign style, kind of a breakdown of how to send those out. Now you can sort of pair the design challenge video with the campaign video and you've got social posts you can combine, you've got emails you can combine, you've got direct mail you can combine. Tomorrow we'll wrap up campaigns and we'll talk about paid social ads. That might be a, a two video series. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.